Yo, what's up, people, and welcome to the first official episode of Info Bites, the podcast where you come to get bites of information you didn't know you needed. My name is Akhil Muhammad. My name is Divyanshu Verma, and welcome to another episode. Okay, so so in this episode, we're going to be going over some facts as always. Yep. And what as always is our first episode. Okay, so one it's thing I, I regret time. it so much is that before this, like before this podcast you're listening, we recorded another one for like about fifteen minutes. And turned out there was no noise. Like a mic, mic was wasn't not connected, connected properly. It was so annoying. Okay, so tough luck. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the let's get on to the first uh, fact, uh, which is we have over here. A group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. What? A group of flamingos called flamboyance. 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 What's the spelling? What's the spelling? Flamboyance. F L A F L A M B O Y A N C E. Wait, what's a group of? Uh, Cats called you know. Google, Google, Google. Okay. A group of fa- group of cats. Uh, cats. Group and dogs as well. I don't know. Group. Oh, by the way, a group of, of lions cats. is called pride. A group of fish. And by the way, the word fish doesn't have a plural. You can't say it as fishes. It's just fish, even in its plural form. So, a group of fish is basically called uh, what is it called again? School. School. Yeah. Yeah, they go to school. A group of cats is called a clouder. What? What weird name? Clouder. It's like what, what is a group of humans called? Group. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was so dumb. Let's go on to the second fact. Crows have the intelligence of a seven-year-old. Bro, you are a crow. Well, at least I'm smarter than you. Ouch! I didn't <laughs> expect that coming. <laughs> I mean, like they're really smart, you know. Once I went to throw the How trash. How are they smart? Once I went to throw the trash, yeah. So you know our dustbin, it's like the big one. Yeah. So the 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 bag of trash, the garbage bag, it landed on the edge of the dustbin and it lodged there, and a mm. crow was sitting there. So it hopped and it pecked the bag into the dustbin. You lying? I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not kidding. Seriously, that, that you think I can come up with that? It, yeah, I saw your it imagination is. <laughs> it it, it pecked the thing down. I'm like, oh, thanks, bro. And then it just. <laughs> and they just went. And yeah, oh! and, and that's how the story also came, right? That the crows oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, putting the, the stones one. in the water to you know increase the water level. That's like that's actually a pretty nice and amazing story. Do you guys not know the story? Let me like just. Obviously, go. they know it. Who hasn't heard that story? There are many people you never know. <laughs> there aren't crows. <laughs> <laughs> so, bro, like. All of my friends are crows, bro. Like they don't even have the intelligence of a seven-year-old. How much? Uh, we they've said that dolphins have an intelligence of more. Yes. No, I don't think. So. How much does dolphins have? Check. Because I have I've heard that dolphins are pretty smart. They can't they be are smart, smart than but they're not crows. smarter than crows. No, crows are uh, gross, retarded. See, crows. I mean, dolphins have a IQ of what? Four hundred and seventeen. Of one or something. Okay, okay the, that. just I have no clue what this is. Okay, <laughs> so the some species of dolphins have IQ of four. Isn't that like? Well, some have less. some have. I mean, it's still more than yours. Yours are about like one, two. Ouch. <laughs> That's pain. <laughs> hey, I actually did like an IQ test. I got like one hundred and ten or something. I think. I think it was in a proper website. Shut up, okay? It was <laughs> this application called IQ test. I didn't. I'm just kidding. I didn't get hundred and ten. I get hundred. I got hundred. Sure, sure. No, I'm serious. Actually, sure, 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 sure. Why don't you actually do it? I wanna see. You might be getting like hundred and twenty. Oh, sure. Now IQ tests are like super long. Yeah, obviously, because they're IQ tests. I took one and I never finished it. That's why your IQ is zero. That's why <laughs> I need to pass the patience test first. <laughs> that was actually funny. <laughs> that was that was a good joke. That was a good joke. Okay. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Next fact now. Uh, <clears throat> all the iPhones in the iPhone advertisements show the time nine forty one. Wait, seriously? I never noticed that. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's actually because that uh, when Steve Jobs was launching the iPhone, the original the original iPhone, it was 9:41 at that time. So they like it's something that you know just to show how where, where they're coming from and at what time Steve Jobs like sort of released the iPhone. That's kind of stupid. It's a weird expl- explanation, but yeah, it is. Yeah. Even if you like notice it, if you go to Google and type you know the latest iPhone, it's gonna show 9:41 if the screen is open. That. You should, I have noticed that many times. That After I got so to know the fact, I'm not that Sherlock Holmes. Do you know what a iPhone brick is? And if you set some time, some date, and you restart your phone, yeah, your iPhone gets bricked, and then it it just doesn't get past the starting Apple screen. Dang. I'm gonna try it my mom's phone once. Which which iPhone does your mom have? I don't. Know. SE or something. Wait, dude, 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 I actually want the new iPhone SE. It's the latest one. It's it's, it's a small. So iPhone. small. But it's a budget, like it's a really cheap one compared to the you know iPhone expense savingness. 
But then you also get the same size for that price. Yeah, that tiny. True. But it still works as fast as an iPhone X. You think you can play Fortnite on that? Like I don't want to Fortnite. play Fortnite. Who plays Fortnite nowadays? Guys, and does any one of you play Fortnite? Don't judge. Let them. Yeah, okay. If you guys play, then it's fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> Let's get on to the whichever fact it is. Okay. So do you like sometimes look at the sky and see random things floating around? Yeah, that happened to me a lot. Those things are called floaters, and they're actually lumps of cells moving around in your eye. I posted this once on my story, and I I was actually that was the. Okay, this is gonna sound really awkward. No, not dumb. Is that I used to think that I was seeing germs. Yeah, same, same. I thought I was and seeing germs, yeah, the I, tiny germs. Yeah, I, I, I used around. to feel like okay. First of all, I never told that to anyone because I used to feel like I'm the only one feeling that, and I'm the only one yeah, seeing that. Yeah, same, same. So I used to feel like I'm watching germs, or sometimes I used to feel, uh, when like you know they're not the shape of an oval. Sometimes they're like circle shape. So I used to think that like you know they're like uh, cells Many in germs the air. Together. Yeah. Yeah, so cells, like, cells. I used to think and, that, and, yeah. and I used to be like, damn, my eyes are actually microscopic. And I used to like, you know, try to adjust my eyes in a way, like you know, shake them and stuff. And then I used to you start know, seeing when them I was again. young, yeah, I, I made this little water microscope. It was pretty cool. So then once I was in the pool and there was a drop of water on my glasses, I'm looking mm. up. And I could see these floaters. So I thought because of that water, they got yeah. magnified like a microscope, <laughs> and I could see all the germs. <laughs> I like, both that's sick. No, that's actually sick. No one actually knows about this, but actually, yeah, they are—they are the cells in your eyes, in your retina, I guess. And now they know about it. Yeah, now you guys know about it. See, it's all thanks to Infobytes. Us. Yes. Yes. So let's Next get fact. on to the fifth the fact of the podcast episode, whatever. The day. Koala fingerprints are very close to human finger. Now I'm not human fingerprints. I'm gonna be honest. I actually can't exactly believe this because koalas don't uh, are not exactly like you know. Okay, but it's human-like. fingerprints. Yeah. But they, but they're not human-like. Yeah. It's most probably chimpanzees. Koala could commit monkeys. a crime and most probably get away with it. Yeah, because they're <laughs> stuck on humans. Or you can use koala fingerprints to keep the police busy. Dude, don't give criminals ideas, dude. <laughs> too specific. <laughs> too specific. Too specific. <laughs> We're becoming too specific. <laughs> yeah. Our imagination is exceeding the imaginational level of a teenager. Do you think Americans are stupid? Yeah. <laughs> I've read that fact. That's why. Sorry, fellow Americans. <laughs> Seven percent of American adults think that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. How on earth? Come on, guys, you're adults. I mean, seven percent is a small number, but adults. Exactly. Adults. <laughs> I I'm gonna be honest. I read this somewhere on Instagram. Like you know, the Instagram there are these fact pages which like you know, info bites. Yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, follow us on Instagram to get to you know amazing facts which we're not gonna discuss on the podcast. But seriously, how can you think that chocolate milk comes from brown cows? Like this is not. It's just dumb. So what? Mm-hmm. Strawberry milk comes from pink cows. But <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know, if that was the case, then I there'd be multicolored cows everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and I would like go and buy water to cow brown cows, and you know, free supply of chocolate milk every day. Squirt the thing into your mouth. <laughs> yeah, Yo, that's that's gross. That's highly gross. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> next fact. Let me read it. Okay. Uh, oh, why did you give this fact to me? <laughs> Hippopotamonstrosis cuqui pedalio phobia. Oh, I thought that word ended there. <laughs> Hippopotamonstrosis cuqui pedalio phobia is ironically the fear of long words. That's Wait, a bit can of a you stretch. repeat? Can you repeat the thing again? I didn't hear it. Can you like not make me say that word again? Hippopotamonstrosis cuqui pedalio phobia. Damn. It's ironically the fear of long words. Now, guys, any one of you has a fear of long words? This is the word for you. Yeah. Any one of you have a what? I'm not saying that again. Whatever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Even you... if you have the, you know, the the that? The, the, the word that, that must not be named. <laughs> By the way, guys, do you know that I? Okay. This is actually second longest English word, I guess. Okay, I don't know. The the, 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 the longest one is some disease you get yeah, by yeah, silica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've read that. I've read that. I've read that. Uh, so the longest word that I know, like I can speak it fluently, say it fluently, is supercalifragilisticus expialidocious. No, I don't exactly know what that means, but yeah, you can just search it. I mean, obviously, you won't be able to because the word is too long, and you won't be able to remember it. I'm so smart. So man. the the longest word is actually the name of a lung disease, which is caused by breathing in like small pieces of ash or dust from volcanoes. Yeah. So the word is. I don't think it's the longest word. It's the longest word in the dictionary, I guess. Oh yeah, the like proper word. Lumo ultra microscopic <clears throat> silico volcano cis. Like quick. imagine you have that whatever lung disease thing you said. Okay, no, let, let me just say that again. New mono ultra microscopic silicolvolic canconiosis. That's. Uh, 
like imagine you you have that disease or whatever the eventually just said and you go to the doctor and the doctor is like you have the word that must not be named no <laughs> it would be so weird the mother and father whoever you know went there they would be like what are you saying bro <laughs> okay but that's not the longest word to exist this, yeah, this is that, the longest, longest word, word in, in the english. dictionary in, in the english dictionary. Yeah. yeah the longest word is actually a scientific word yeah it's so long it takes 3.5 hours to say what it's the full name of a protein called titan actually T-I-T-I-N. Wanna, uh, i want to i want to test it i want to see if it takes 3.5 hours i mean it's it's we'll pretty just say long. the whole word and the whole podcast will be ended people it's will watch it it's pretty long <laughs> is, like is 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 that the no, word no that's not the word that's just that's what that's thought. just let's like sentences <laughs> actually want to uh, research that word man Uh, it's, it's it's a lot you see that that's that's the word that's not that's like a part of the word on or that that looks like greek language okay, moment, moment. so i think i know i have the website uh, why would anyone actually say that word or invent oh, it oh there's a youtube video of this guy saying it saying the word okay there's no wifi okay again. never mind the the word is gone okay yeah, forever okay um so now let's get on to this uh, next fact which is going to be Abof abophobia is ironically the fear Abof- of palindromes. Do you Abof- know palindromes are? No. Bro. Palindromes are word which when spelled backwards is the same word like race car. Oh. You yeah, say race car, you spell yeah, it the other way around. Race car. Damn, I didn't know that. So if you say abophobia backwards it's still going to be abophobia. It's A I B O H. And there was one more word. Uh, which one was it? Malayalam. Malayalam. If you say that backwards it's uh, Malayalam itself like Malayalam Malayalam. That's, that was an interesting fact. Like palindromes. So it's abophobia. Abophobia. Yeah, I got it. Th- there was some more I forgot. Yeah, even I I just read There's one so like many. yesterday or today in the morning or something. I just like found it randomly. There was one more man. Okay, it's fine. A oh, lot more. Yeah, no. <clears throat> the name. Okay, yeah. Then the next fact. The, the name of fact. the shape. The ninth fact is the name of the shape of a Pringle is called a hyperbolic paraboloid. What about like paraboloid? I know the, the Pringle shape, like the. Yeah. No, but like, okay, hyperbolic paraboloid. Why do you have to? Why do you have to make everything scientific? <laughs> no, that's the name. You like, know Pringles. Have you ever like taken two Pringles into your mouth and look like a duck? Yeah, I've done that many times. <laughs> It, it's like Pringles are actually pretty good chips, but guys, Pringles are not actually potato chips. Yeah, they're not potato chips. You know, long ago somebody sued Pringles because they used to advertise their chips as potato chips. And then they changed it to potato them. crisps. Yeah, they had to change it to potato crisps because that's a... guys, many people think that they're eating chips. Uh, like many people who eat chips and stuff, often they think that they're eating healthy stuff, but it's actually just a bunch of chemicals okay, mixed together. Many things eating. healthy when they're eating chips. There are some people I know actually. Like some people I know eat chips and they're like, dude, it's potato chips. I'm getting health. One example is my brother. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he actually wants to get a little healthier. Like. Everyone makes fun of him as like sort of slim, right? Yeah. So skinny, uh, skinny. Uh, so I like told him that if you and you listen to me and eat whatever I tell you to eat for like at least a month, you'll become as healthy as me. Okay. And then he's like, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> and then and then he's like, uh, and then okay, I tell him to eat, you know, all the healthy stuff. He's like, no, no, no. And then I'm like, you know, just chuck him. And then one day we're sitting in the car, we're on our way to a resort, and uh, he buys this Pringles. Sh- uh, uh, chips packet and then he eats it and then he tells me bhaijan look i'm eating healthy food it has potato in it i I'll, i'll become fat and healthy okay <laughs> then i'm like that is not healthy my brother <laughs> that is not healthy it's just a bunch of chemicals with most probably like 3 or 4% of potatoes maybe maybe not you never know so yeah. from the next fact now you know human body in a human body everything on the right is going to be slightly bigger than the one on your left actually especially your lungs right your your right lung will take in more air than your left Like if you stretch out your arm, you'll see that the right one kind of exceeds it. Now, my yeah, no, no, actually, I've no, noticed that. Like I've noticed that. So then, um, yeah, the right part is going to be a bit more bigger than the left one. Yeah, damn. Lungs are pretty cool stuff, bro. Yeah. I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But <laughs> If you don't have lungs, you die. Yeah, duh. You need oxygen. Okay, ah, uh, this this is the fact I want to say. So, uh, guys, by the way, I have this personal interest of astronomy. Same. So. Space. I yeah space astronomy and stuff like that you know galaxies universe and so I read a lot about it I also have I think I have a decent amount of information according to someone else my age so this is this fact I read recently by the way guys many people think that uh, okay not by the way so um you guys all know mount everest right it, it's uh, it's stands at a tall 25 kilometers 
and uh, many uh, many people think that it is the tallest mountain yes it is the tallest mountain on but earth. in yeah, on, on earth. earth but in the whole uh, solar system where there are where we where consists of eight planets and some dwarf planets the tallest mountain is olympus mons where is that you might be asking it's on mars mars is the closest habitable ish planet in our solar system and it um it's so large that it is literally you can literally see it uh, from the surface of mars it uh, stands at a 6 no it is 624 kilometers wide at the base oh damn so that's a lot that's like a lot yeah. a lot a lot have you watched the martian no i actually want to watch it maybe you, you haven't watched the martian, watch the martian and no, you say you like space i know bro the martian it. is a sick let's movie. watch it together man okay guys you should if you're like interested in doing the space series and stuff you should watch uh, another life have you watched that It's on Netflix. It's life. amazing. It's basically about these uh, group of people who have to escape. No, who actually are to, uh, going to another habitable planet and another galaxy. It's basically um, in two to twenty thirty or something where we can travel as fast as light. So <clears throat> uh, they basically these people, bunch of people, travel to another planet. You know, see of if they're, if they're habitable and you know to find another life or aliens, as you might say. Oh, by the way, do you believe in aliens? Sure. Why not? See my uh, like thing in it. Uh, my theory in this is that uh, I've read this quote sort of thing recently. Is that if you say that there are uh, no planets exist, uh, no uh, habitable life exists, then you're basically saying that there is no fish in the sea. Just because there's no fish in the spoon of water you just picked up from the sea. Yeah, I mean we haven't explored the universe yeah, at all. We we haven't even explored See, our solar system. It probably. might be that humans are stupid and that's why intelligent life hasn't contacted us. Yeah. So Or th- humans are the smartest and there's no one smart enough to contact us. Exactly. So, so there are like two possibilities. It is either we are the smartest, or we are dumb, and we're just like you know on the level of animals compared to the. I don't real... know about other humans, but you sure are dumb. Ouch, bro! Why are you like calling me dumb? <laughs> okay, anyways, on to the next fact. <clears throat> yeah. No, Jupiter's moon Io. The spelling is literally Io, and I guess it's pronounced the same way. It's the most volcanically active world in the solar system. Damn. Like it has hundreds of volcanoes. And some of them erupt lava fountains dozens of miles or kilometers high. Dozens of kilometers high, even kilometers high. Like what? And uh, I read this. Uh, wait, I actually forgot. Oh, I read this fact recently that when dinosaurs existed, there were volcanoes on on the moon that were erupting, like active volcanoes on the moon. Damn. Moon has like so many craters that many scientists actually believe that there might be some you know alienish, uh, smart alien life that might be. On the moon, that. on the yeah. moon, you think there's aliens in the moon? No, it's just something I've read recently. It's because I'll show you this photo I've uh, uh, seen recently. It just shows that there are some passages connecting, like it's basically lines of, um, it's basically just lines of the sand thing uh, on the moon that connect each other. So people think it's just roads. Like some scientists theorize that. Yeah. Space man, I actually love amazing facts about man, space. I want to go to space. It's like the biggest thing on my bucket list. You know, I actually, astronaut. I still have that dream of becoming an astronomer because I want to study yeah, more about space. I want to become space. an astronaut. You'll become that, bro, and I promise you. Hopefully, yeah. But this is too beyond my reach. I'm gonna be honest. I, yeah. it's, it's still my personal. To become an astronaut, you need to have experience in every field. You need to have experience in the engineering field, doctor, doctory field, and you gotta be a pilot. Man, you have to study a lot, a lot. Okay, yep. Which fact are we on? Okay, just okay. So, by the way, guys, do you know the endangered species of turtles breathe from their butt? Like, I thought you could. Mouth. I thought you could only exhale from your butt. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. That's actually a good one, though. Gross. But like, why butt? Like, mouth doesn't work for you guys. They didn't choose that, you know. Yeah, nature did. But still, man, it's so gross. Like, you know, you're endangered. You're about to die. And then you're like, oh wait, let me breathe, and then you just <laughs> exhale and inhale from your butt. No, imagine you you just you know you're normally breathing, yeah. You inhale, you exhale from your butt, and you're like, hey bro, why are you farting? <laughs> Actually, so dumb. But like, why butt? So gross. You know, some facts just make you gross out. This is one of them. Yep. Okay, now on okay, to the last fact for of this episode. You can see an owl's eyeball through its ear. Owl? Wait, you, what? You just. Pull the ear apart. Like I'm things. adopting an owl. I actually want to like you know experiment on it. Oh, by the way, I don't maybe... think you should adopt an owl then. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Don't. I kind of know what you what what you're supposed to mean. Let's like get on to the next. No. Okay. By the way, do you guys know that owls are actually pretty tall? But it's just that they have a lot of fur. I guess that covers it. How, fur, how hair, does the whatever. fur cover the tallness? 
no it's, it's because like it just covers that not tallness exactly like they if you if you stretch them like uh, there was this photo like, like slime <laughs> yeah, yeah actually actually yeah, there there was this photo of like a scientist or someone stretching the neck and yeah. it just you know, turned out to be pretty long that's scary man owls are sort of creepy how do you find them cute man they're so cute have you not looked at them yes i have the their owl? eyes are as big as my palms your small palms then no i don't someone else does <laughs> no, but actually their eyes are pretty tall or big and it's uh, um their eyes are big big large because they have to see during the night night wish the Nocturn- night nocturnal wish. animals but there's so many other nocturnal animals who don't have big eyes well nature's wish okay exactly all right guys don't forget to check out our instagram yeah, at info bites with two episode. s's yeah with two s's okay like don't miss the two s's Also, if you want to send us more facts, you can message us from our website, which is or you can just DM below. us on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow Divyanshu on Instagram. All the links will be in the description box below. And by the way, we are on Spotify as well. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, as I'm just a teenager, I feel kind of kind of proud to say that that I am on Spotify. We are on Spotify. <laughs> uh, me and Divyanshu, uh, we are on Spotify. Like, just feels you know so happy. some reason i don't know just, just bring some your inner piece of shut up okay? i'm saying something don't interrupt me okay that's pretty much it thank you so much for listening if you have heard till now and thanks for tuning in to infobytes yes and thank you